In this video lesson, I'm going to show you how to make this cute little rabbit. Things we are going to need to make a rabbit, we are going to use a clay. This is a water based air drying clay. And we need a bowl of water and a sponge to clean our hands. We need a pencil. We use a pencil as a tool. And we might need a cotton cloth. Let's get started. Firstly, we make a bigger shape and later we add all these features. To make a body of a rabbit, we take a clay out of a bag only so much don't take large amount of clay not very little take only so much how much you you can handle this is going to become a body of a rabbit for the first thing we need to make a perfect ball before making a ball we must clean our hands now i will show you how to clean our hands take a bowl don't dip your hands inside the bowl take a sponge squeeze the sponge and make sure a very little water stays in the sponge and wipe the clay out of your hands make sure a little water stays in your hands your hands must be always clean and moistured now take a clay and make a perfect ball by rolling like this in between your hands Make sure there are no dents and cuts. It must be perfect spear. The next stage, let us modify this ball into a body shape, little tapered shape, which is called teardrop shape. Before modification, we must clean our hands and keep it moistured. make sure it is little wet take a ball in between your hands we need to roll holding in a v shape roll slowly and the ball shape becomes teardrop shape and this length is not enough we make little more lengthier by rolling this couple of times and now the shape of a body is ready let's make ears here to make ears we need two equal amount of clay pieces This is the time to decide how big the ear goes. Don't take too big, don't take very little, take this much which matches with the body. So before modification we need to clean our hands. Make a perfect spears. and 
we have to modify both of them into teardrop shapes the same way how we made a body holding on the left hand rolling with the right hand we make a linear teardrop shape we need to make both of them take the another one hold it on your left hand roll it with your right hand make sure both of them are equal in height the next stage we need to flatten them before modification make sure you are washing your hands if it is too watery you can take a cotton cloth and remove a little bit of a clay and keep it moistured I'm going to show you how to flatten it holding on your left hand gently by pressing with your right thumb you can make it flatten don't make it too thin make it little thick so that it stays stronger the other one the same way we need to press it three four times and it becomes flat not too thin and now we need to attach this on a body keep it in that position and merge it like this and from behind to make it more stronger in here we need to fill a clay take a little bit of a clay fill it here and merge it like this and you take a little bit of a water on your finger like this and do a finishing very often you feel your hands are drying we need to make it wet most of the time just taking a little bit of water and keep your model wet and neat and next we are going to make a eyebrows and eyes making a eyebrow is very simple take a small amount of clay about this much before making you keep it in that position and observe how big it is whether it is too big or too small about this much is fine we make a coil before modification look at my hand it is completely dried I need to make it wet take a little bit of a water and roll it roll it with these fingers and it becomes a cylindrical shape by rolling it with the little bit amount of water the clay becomes a sticky so that it sticks wherever we stick and next we are making our eyes take a small amount of clay pieces two equal in size about this much and roll it while making when you roll a clay for a very long time it dries and it forms a shiny surface at this point of a time just by placing it like this it seems to be attached but after few hours it will fall down because this clay bodies doesn't have a stickiness 
to make it more sticky we have to add a very little amount of water just by tapping on a sponge like this and by rolling it the stickiness of a clay comes back take a little water and roll it place it there and press it like this so it sticks properly let's make a face of this make a tooth to make a tooth take a small piece of a clay and keep it in that position and notice how big it is it should not be too tiny same way it should not be too big about this much to make it more sticky we add a little bit of a water and roll it and we make a cylinder by rolling it in between your fingers and make sure it has a stickiness and place it there press it three four times if you press it sticks very well the next step is making a face take two equal amount of clay pieces keep it there and see it matches it is too big if it is too big take out some clay from both the shape and place it there and notice how big it is whether it matches or no it matches but we'll take some more clay out of it about this much this much is fine now we roll it take add a little bit of a water and roll it so it stays wet if it is too skiddy that means it has a lot of water at that time you clean your hands and keep it moistured this time hold it on your left hand and by rolling it with your right thumb we can make teardrop shape again do the same thing to the other ball hold it this way and roll it with your right thumb and make a teardrop shape we are going to attach these two shapes here before attaching make sure it has a stickiness since we are rolling it for a long time the clay outer surface has dried there is no stickiness in it to make it more sticky we add very little water and roll both of them place it in that position and press them slowly that's it now it is stuck next stage let's make a legs to make legs we use a pencil as a tool let's add a mark here before making a mark using a pencil we have to make this pencil little wet just by rolling a pencil on a sponge we make it wet don't take a water out of a bowl just roll the pencil on a sponge so the wetness goes on this pencil and now making a mark don't draw like you draw on a paper hold it this way hold it slant and slide it across and do a finishing touch up
do exactly the same opposite side. And next we are going to make a foot. Take two equal amount of clay pieces. Keep it there and see how big they are. They match. Fine. Let's modify this leg. Before modification, clean your hands. Roll it for some time. Make a perfect spears. And holding in between your hands roll it this way like this make both of them like that before attaching make sure it sticks now I feel there is no stickiness in it to make it more sticky we add very little water and roll it for some times until the water goes inside the clay and place it here this is one leg the next leg would be attached here after placing it in their position, merge it from the bottom and make sure both the legs are near to body. Otherwise, after when it when they dry, it will fall down. It will break easily. Do a little bit of a finishing touch up. And next we make hands let's make hands before making hands make sure it's in a proper position we clean our hands often we make hands by taking two equal amount of clay pieces Keep it there and visualize after making hands how big they look will they match or no yes they will match now and I will show you how to modify these balls into our hands before modification we have to wash our hands and now I'm showing you how to make a hands of a rabbit holding on your left palm rolling it with your right index finger this way you can make a hand leaving a little bit of a clay here for a palm of a rabbit we may we extend this part to make a hands of a rabbit by rolling it like this And later we can roll it this way this is a hand of a rabbit we do the same thing to other one hold it on your left hand rolling it with your right fingers this way leaving a little bit of a clay here for a palm of a rabbit and rolling it for some times it becomes like this make sure both of them are equal in size the next stage is we have to flatten it here by pressing it slowly we make it 
little flat we do the same thing to other hand and before sticking we have to add a little water and make it more stickier don't attach just like this it doesn't have a glue in here so the glue is just a adding a little bit of a water and rolling it until the water goes inside the clay and bend it this is a left hand of a rabbit placing it here pressing it slowly and do a finishing touch up do the same thing to other side before attaching make sure you add a little bit of water and roll it for some time so that you you get a stickiness in it and bend it this way place it here and attach it by adding a very little water you get a good finishing and the last part is a nose let's make a nose teeny tiny nose taking a very little bit of a clay like this and make a triangular shape make sure it is sticky and attach it there let's add some details one more thing we forgot we have to make a tail making the tail is very simple take a small amount of clay about this much let it be uneven it doesn't matter place it here and attach it from the below that's it let's add some detailings take a pencil make it little wet and we make tooth dividing this one shape by making a line here <coughs> we add a whiskers one two three line right side three line left side and make sure you clean your pencil make four lines for a right hand four lines for a left hand make four lines for a legs four lines for another leg that's it our cute little rabbit is ready